Okay, let's take a walk around this. Uh, I think it's uh, year 2000, this one. Um, but it does come with the uh, the plate P9LJE um, with it, uh, which will come with the car unless we uh, sell it outside of the UK, in which case we'll keep it. Um, 2000 model, uh, Land Rover Defender 90 TD5, factory county station wagon. Finished in black, and it's originally black. It's not had a repaint in a different colour. Um, with grey interior, grey techno cloth interior, and it's in six seater spec with a centre cubby box. Um, unusually for its age, this one's also fitted with air con factory air conditioning. You can see from the uh, extended radiator grill. Um, really nice original car, actually. Not been uh, messed around with or fitted with all sorts of uh, dubious extras. Um, it's got the uh, the correct station wagon trim, so sunroof, tinted glass, full interior trim, and what have you and the colour-coded um, eyebrows, but it's also got uh, the correct um, alloys on it with a matching set of BF Goodrich tyres. Side steps, um, <coughs> excuse me, checker plate on the wing tops, the modesty covers and the rear quarters, and on the front bumper so you can stand on it. Um, what else? So, centre cubby box inside, it's also got a radio CD player, Blaupunkt one, in there, and there's obviously the air conditioning in there as well. Um, it's got the alarm and immobiliser on it. Around the tail end we've got the North American spec rear step with um, integrated tow pack. Spare wheel mounted where it should be. Mud flaps all round. That's about it. Um, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Not a lot in the way of bad bits. It's very, very straight. Um, obviously being black it does show every mark, it's fair to say. Around the front end there's the usual stone chipping. And there's some lacquer loss just up here on top of the, uh, the air conditioning cowl just along there. A um, couple of scratches and bird line marks on the bonnet, but nothing major. Looking down the near side, looks very, very straight down there, apart from a couple of dinks in the barrel side on the passenger door, but again, quite normal. Near side front wing is very straight. Scuttle corner here is all good. Screen is fine. Um, down the A-post, she's all good. Um, yeah, a couple of tiny parking dinks, one there and one there in the barrel side. Um, the roof has got a slight scar in it just along here, it's like a large scratch and a small dent just there. Um, it's obviously hit a branch at some point. Tiny bit of electrolytic reaction on the back of the near side front door just there. Looking inside it, um, it's come from a small holding so you'll be finding hay in it forevermore, though we've got most of it out. Um, but uh, it's still got its original county station wagon carpets, all the county station wagon trim is intact. Uh, headlining's not too badly marked. That is drooping a bit on the left-hand side, but that's normal just with the backing board. Just uh, warps in the sun. Seats are in good shape. This doesn't seem to be any rips or tears, certainly in the passenger seat. As I say, it's got the factory aircon. Um, it's got the carpets. Four bottoms. One of this size should be okay, actually. Yeah, the, it's starting to go a little bit at the back here. Just where the... That's why you've got the, um, the electricity reaction on the outside. Just got go, it's starting to go a bit at the back. Apart from that... Actually pretty good along there. No movement at all in the hinge pins, which is nice. Tub top trims and everything are all good. There's actually not a lot of electrolytic reaction on this one, which is unusual given its colour. Deep scratch there between there and there. That's just a bit of mud. So I have to go through a big muddy puddle to get here. Um, all nice around here and so very little reaction around here where they normally go. Tailgate has picked up quite a bit of electrolytic reaction as they do up here down at the bottom there. And in here, she all looks to be, say so the rear mat is a bit discoloured, but uh, purely from carrying hay and things, but um, that could easily be replaced. The carpet is underneath or it could be taken out. Uh, so all the four individual seats have got seat belts, a couple of stains and marks on the seats, really from where it's been useful, where it's been used. Uh, tailgate bottom frame, poor in the corner just here. The rest of it along here actually feels okay, the load bearing bit, just in the corner again. Looking down the offside, looks very straight down there actually, really good. Doors fit really well on this one. Someone's had a, it's been keyed um, in a couple of places on the offside rear wing and on the door. Someone's attempted to touch it in a little bit on the offside rear wing without much success. Obviously you can still see it. So you've got a, um, a key line along there and one along there. That's just some dust. Um, same on the door. They've been a bit more successful on the door. There's a 
touched in key line there and another one there on the uh, on the offside door uh, offside front wing there is some electrolytic reaction coming up under the paint just along here hasn't broken through there's some lacquer loss on the top of the wing just here um, scuffle corner very good indeed on that side driver's seat is nice you'd expect it to be given you know given the mileage it's done only done 81,000 miles this one um, carpet on the driver's side is a bit marked and uh, haven't had any, um, any mats in it so perhaps this nice set of mats would be a good idea driver's door again at the back edge all three doors at the uh, the, the non-hinge edge they've got um, this one quite badly hold but the rest of it along here feels okay again and I've put the door up, but it's not moving on the hinges. That's about it, really. Um, oh, didn't notice this. Well, it's not a scratch, actually. It's just dirty mark. That's about it. Um, it's a really nice straight um, straight 90 with a good spec. There is a, another thing I didn't notice. There's a slight nick just there in the eyebrow and scratch just along there. That's about it. Um, as I say, nice straight uh, genuine county station wagon. Very original. Apart from the North American step, it's um, pretty much, I would think, as it left the, uh, left the factory. Um, that's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. And